Revit 2021 has many new and updated features, including some improvements just for electrical engineers. In this video, we'll go over each feature and what it could mean for your electrical design workflow. For Revit 2020.1, Autodesk added the Stripe Rows command to make large schedules easier to read. This functionality has now been moved to the Schedule Appearance properties, where they added the ability to customize the striping and to make the striping visible on sheets. This update is more general, but it's still a quality of life improvement that will affect electrical engineers when reading and printing large schedules. Similar to other views, panel schedules will now appear in the project browser under sheets that have panel schedules inserted on them. This is another quality of life change that lets you quickly see which schedules are on each sheet and pull them up to make edits. Support has been added for single-phase two-wire panels, which are common in the UK and EU. This configuration is rare in the United States. For US-based engineers, the only change you'll probably notice is in the wording of some panel schedule template options. The overall functionality is still the same. Speaking of changes for British and European users, circuit naming schemes can now be customized to fit your company's specific needs. Let's say you want your circuit number to also display the load classification. Simply open your electrical settings, select circuit naming, then create and edit your scheme. For load classifications, a new field allows you to set different abbreviations. You can even display shared parameters. Circuit naming schemes can be set at the project level and for each panel. The scheme will appear on the panel schedule and on the floor plan. For switchboards, the new switch phases command lets you cycle the phases for one and two pole circuits. This is arguably the star of the show. Now, rather than using panel part types and modified schedules as a workaround, you can model and balance your switchboards properly. Switchboards also have a new max number of circuits parameter to limit the number of circuited devices. Previously, switchboards used the same max single pole breakers parameter as panels, which could trip up some users. This new parameter is more appropriate given how switchboard circuiting actually works. You can now set the frame parameter for spares and the number of poles and schedule circuit notes parameters for spaces. While this may not affect your design workflow, it will allow for more complete definitions of your spaces and spares. Those are the electrical changes in Revit 2021. Leave a comment to tell us which features you look forward to trying out. And if you're new to Design Master, Use the link in the description below to learn more about our Electrical for Revit software.